Hey everybody, how's it going? This is uh, Pierre Halsabus with Scribe Software, and today we are looking at using a uh, script that Scribe provides, and uh, what we want to do is we want to clean up the Scribe database, the maintenance script. And a, a lot of folks um, don't quite understand what that thing does or why it's used, and I wanted to, to point out a couple of things uh, in the first before we run it. So um, Scribe internally keeps track of every time an execution occurs, right? And so every time uh, this, ex this uh, Scribe Insight uh, execution happens, um, it creates or generates a line in the execution log. So I'm looking here at the, the execution log. Also, if you have any alerts, that also occurs in the alert log. So this this log um, will um, show all of the alerts that have been received and the status of all of those. And, uh, you know, this is a little environment that, that I use for testing and stuff like that. So the numbers aren't really huge. But, you know, when we work with troubleshooting um, systems, uh, we'll hear back from uh, customers uh, and the Scribe database is just humongous. And these tables can literally be in the millions of rows, not uncommon because uh, especially if we're doing uh, uh, queue-based integrations, every single transaction is logged. Every row, effectively, or every XML file that we handle uh, is managed. So you have a couple different logs. The alert log, there's the execution log, and uh, a couple other ones that are in here. So I wanted to show you that uh, Scribe has, if we go into uh, the Scribe application here, let's just go on this local machine here. Uh, inside of the Scribe in, uh, installation uh, directory, it's, uh, it's under Scribe software. No, where is it? Here's under Scribe, sorry. Under Scribe uh, here, if I click on Scribe, and uh, then I just look through uh, the folder, uh, the main directory here, we're going to see, we're going to find a, scrolling down here, it is in here in, with all the SQL stuff. It is called the... Um, all different scripts scribe maintenance so we want to just I'm just gonna open this uh, bad boy up so this maintenance script basically goes through and cleans up the database now um, so what you'll see is this let's just lock through this so first thing that it's gonna do it's gonna clean up the execution log so as I mentioned we keep track of the execution log and every um, uh, time the execution log runs every time or gets filled up same thing with any transaction errors all of those get um, put in and also the alert log uh, is another one that uh, that gets filled up and there's also a what's called compare log for compared rows um, again if you're using that function inside a scribe that would do that and then of course anytime you maintain the database you also want to do updation up updations updates on a couple other pieces of the tables here are the key cross reference tables and any of the value maps in the recipient cross reference tables you're going to want to update the statistics on those uh, uh, tables uh, because those are, are cross-referenced. And so uh, if you are using those functions, uh, those tables can also run into the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of rows in some of our customers because it's literally every customer, every sales order is inside of there. Every product is, is listed typically inside of those tables with a cross-reference out to either Salesforce GUID, um, unique record ID, or dynamic CRM GUIDs, or whatever ERP integration systems you're w working with in terms of cross-reference data, those tables tend, especially the key cross-reference two-way table, which typically used for um, ERP integrations, those tables can get massive. And so, um, so a couple things uh, with this script that you want to be aware of. One is you can just run this script in any time, of course, and if I run it right now, it basically is going to go, It's uh, there's a variable at the beginning of this script. The only thing that you really need to uh, <laughs> uh, manage in this is this date right here. So if I go and run this right now, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to go run against and remove any data that's uh, more than uh, over 365 days old. So it's going to go back last year. And of course, um, I just installed this a couple months ago, so there's no data in there. So um, that is typically not the way that folks would do this. 
Uh, typically, um, when you're in the mode of doing um, troubleshooting or you're um, setting this up maybe for the first time and you're doing data migrations, that type of stuff, you're going to want to maybe click this down right down to like five or three uh, to keep the data um, so it doesn't go back that far, right? Because I typically am not going to need to have uh, a year's worth of data in in the, in the transaction log. Most likely, all I really want to have is maybe stuff that I do for troubleshooting. To When someone calls the help desk and says, hey, a transaction didn't go through, I can go back a couple days and look at and troubleshoot. Uh, but I don't need, you know, three months worth of that data. So this, um, my our typical recommendation is once you get in that production mode, and because you have your uh, Scribe internal database most likely on a maintenance plan already in terms of being backed up, um, all of the, um, the, the, let's say, auditing data that you might need in terms of any sort of um, audit, IT audit, that you would go through is all going to be in your backups So um, if you're backing it up every day. So I really only need this for troubleshooting um, errors that are occurring today or yesterday or the day before. So, <clears throat> so typically most folks in the enterprise will crank this down to like three three days and when I execute this now what this is going to go do oops, um, just change this to three now it's going to go back three days uh, into my execution log and it will re-index the database and update all my statistics and make the thing nice and happy it'll make the database really happy so you can see it, it deleted a thousand rows um, of data in some of these and um, it removed the transaction, moved a thousand rows there, moved a thousand rows again. You can see all the different. Uh, this, if you're running this the first time, this may take a long time to run. If you've got, if you haven't run this yet, or just coming on this the first time, again, a lot of times in migrations because executions are all in there. You could have a million rows in this system. So now, when I go back here and run this execution, I can see these tables are now. This is my alert log table. Um, this is the, the cross-reference table. That, that'll be the same. Um, and any of the other, um, let's say, execution log table. Select the top. Let's just uh, run this. And we'll see that this will be nice and clean. So now, if I go into, I'm going to launch the Scribe console. So when I go into the console, the, the console will be a bit snappier. Uh, it should be a snappier when I, uh, especially when I get into the administration tab. Um, a lot of you, this is one of the tells, at least for me, uh, when I go to uh, click on administration tab, if it takes a little bit, that's typically because the database execution log size is is, uh, is too small. So you, uh, it's too big, rather. And so it takes a little bit for that to run. Um, when I refresh this log, um, you can see I got no nothing in my execution log. If I uh, go here and refresh my alert log, I've got nothing now in my alert log. And again, this is this is because we I still have my cross references in there, um, <clears throat> uh, in there. But I'm seeing no rows of data. If you're not uh, 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 concerned about those uh, having that to going back, um, you know, weeks or months. Uh, I say uh, get rid of it, make your database more efficient. Uh, Scribe is not an in incredibly database intensive um, system. It really is not. Uh, all we're doing typically in the database is sending out that, that transaction or, or execution log. Uh, but with that said, um, it's always a good practice on, uh, so to uh, keep your database um, fit and trim. So uh, so we you, you can use this uh, script, this uh this uh, script here, that uh, maintenance script, to uh, to make it part of your maintenance plan, and uh, put it in your you know SQL job scheduler. Um, some folks I've seen call it in Scribe actually and schedule it as a job, which you could do. Um, you could do that, or just typically you know put it in your job scheduler uh, utility uh, for uh, for your SQL system, and this will keep everything uh, happy. That's that's a little quickie 10 minutes on uh, the scribe uh, maintenance uh, log and the maintenance process. So thank you.